But I appreciate very much, brothers and sisters, this opportunity of having some part with you in this important enterprise that's taking place on this campus this week. In this, you're doing what, in my opinion, is the most important thing that there is to be done in the world. Now, you call it leadership. It might be called personal development. It might be called a great many other things. This morning, I'd like to have you think of it as, as people changing. That is, the subject assigned to me was creative leadership in a changing world. I've re rearranged that title just a little bit, and I'd like to have you think of it as, as changing people in a creative world. Now, I've always been taught that the way you begin any professional accomplishment is to find out what the problem is. And certainly there's only one problem, at least so far as I know, in the world. There isn't two or six or ten or some other number. There's just one, and it's always the same. And it doesn't matter very much what the desired accomplishment is. Whether you're doing church work or building a business or running an empire, the problem's always the same, and it's always leadership. If you want to have a good ward, you get a good bishopric. That's all you need to do. If you want to have a good stake, you get a good stake presidency in high council. If you want to have a good relief society organization or a good auxiliary organization of any kind or any other kind of a, of a success, you get good leaders. Now, we get good leaders by changing people. That is, the purpose of this university is to change the lives of its students. The purpose of every parent is to change their children upward. 